okay so today uh, we will upgrade the Citrix licensing server so before we start uh, we should uh, create a snapshot of the entire server I will do that now where are my snapshots manage snapshots take a snapshot and I will say before upgrade and I will write here the, the version don't take the memory take the snapshots ok so this is done uh, one more thing before you um, you upgrade your uh, Citrix licensing server you need to take a picture or write down um, the groups that uh, are allowed to um, licensing uh, server so here if you go on, uh, on the settings under account you have here for example you will have here in uh, productive environment one or more groups that will contain multiple uh, accounts um, you need to to write those down before you upgrade if because um, I will uh, <coughs> I will uninstall I will completely uninstall uh, the licensing software and reinstall it and when I reinstall it uh, this uh, these groups will be removed so I never upgraded um, the licensing server by just leaving the old version and installing the newer version over it, I always remove it completely and install it uh, from uh, from zero um, the licensing file will remain it in its location so you will not have to re-add it because it's in other program files licensing my files so this is our uh, licensing file and it will uh, remain here even if I if I remove uh, the software okay so let's so let's start um, app -wiz. so I'm just going with uninstall with normal uninstall so now we have uh, version uh, Four, five, and three zeros, and I already downloaded a newer version, and it's four seven zero zero zero. So it's here. Okay, let's let's uninstall. Yes. This should be a quick process because the file the licensing server software is not so big okay um, just to be 100% uh, sure that uh, I will not have any issues uh, I will uh, restart the the server okay so I logged back in logged back in let's check the services because I want to show you that anything related to Citrix was removed 
but we still have the the folder with the licensing file so can I continue so the only thing that is kept is the licensing file and when we install the new version it will automatically uh, find the, this file in any case it doesn't find it you just need to re-download it from the Citrix portal and uh, add it uh, add it again to, to your uh, licensing server but before we install let's take a look at our delivery controllers let's see how do they look when they no longer have access to to the licensing uh, server okay so I'm now on one of my delivery controllers checking for the licensing server until it does that let's also start director so this is how it looks like um, it entered an emergency grace period but do not worry about this because once you once you install the, the new version it will recover even if uh, you can see here let me full screen this It's already full screen. Yeah. Um, even if it says um, that you only have a few days until uh, it will no longer work, this is normal. This is a normal behavior. And um, after we we install the new version of the of the licensing server, we also have to get back here in to our uh, DDCs and check once again so refresh and if nothing happens we need to re-add the, the licensing server one more time on all the uh, on all our uh, delivery controllers okay let's go back to our licensing server and install the new the new version just right click and install We leave everything to its default. but you can select automatically check uh, if your uh, store or if your uh, licensing server can reach the internet okay I do not want to launch okay so now basically um, has installed now you can see the services that came back and are running uh, you no longer need to reboot uh, the server you can also check yes yes Okay, 
so we have uh, the new version. Yeah, don't show me. And as I told you, under the, the settings and account, you no longer have uh, you no longer have your uh, admin groups. It's only your admin account and the built-in administrators. So you just have to add the group again. I have it saved here and give it the role as administrator and go finish. Now your entire team, if uh, their admin accounts are here, will be able to, to manage the, the licensing. Okay, now let's see if this works, if the installation, uh, I mean the installation worked, we didn't have any errors, but let's go to our DDC and let's refresh, let's see if it can identify the server. So if you get, um, if you get an error like this, just um, go to change licensing server and just uh, connect it again. And um, this should uh, should fix your uh, fix your problem. Okay, looks good. Let's also check uh, director. Let's see if everything is back to normal. Okay, so no licensing issues at the moment. Um, let's check also our second DDC. This one should also see the new Licensing thing studio. I also have a few Xen servers that uh, are using licenses. We can check them too, but from my knowledge, they don't care when uh, when you change the uh, the license version. They will just uh, check if they can connect to the licensing server from time to time and uh, from my experience uh, I never had an issue so I never had to re-add uh, the licensing server in uh, for the hypervisors for the sensor or hypervisors okay let's go back to our DDC and licensing Okay, this looks good too. Uh, I also have two more other DDCs and I want to check them too. If everyone can see. So here you have to do the same thing. Um, the first two, so DDC01, this one, DDC01 and DDC02 are load balanced and uh, they, um, on the second DDC I didn't have to add the license server again and it, it uh, synchronized with the first one but here this is a standalone uh, DDC this one does not see the, uh, the change that we have done uh, let's see the other one the fourth one So this is dev1 DDC04. Okay, this one has the same issue. So we have to, if we have, I don't know, multiple DDCs that are standalone or grouped in pairs, uh, we need to to reconnect to our uh, 
licensing server after an uh, after an upgrade. Okay, this is done, and the fourth one. So this was it, and before uh, we stop this, I stop this recording. Let's go back to our uh, to our first uh, DDCs, and as I told you, um, the grace period uh, is gone. So. Um, if you know uh, when and normally when a grace period starts for other reasons than an upgrade of the um, licensing server um, the uh, this the error does not go away so for example if you lose I don't know connection to a, to your database or something like that and it triggers the grace period um, you will have to you will have to buy more uh, licenses so if you have 100 licenses you have to buy one more so that you have 101 licenses so that you can get out of the of the grace period of the grace period but uh, for um, the licensing server upgrade process it does not require that step so you can upgrade every three months every six months to a newer version of the licensing server and you will not uh, stay in the grace period the grace period will go away okay so that was it let's check it in uh, in control panel to see that we have the new version I mean we have it but let's double check so yeah we have version 47 and three zeros okay thank you for watching